Hi everyone, this is Kara Zaller, licensed nutritionist, here today to talk to you about a pretzel alternative. I found this product at Whole Foods and I wanted to give it a shot since my children, like most children, love pretzels. So first of all, it looks just like the pretzel sticks that you could find in a regular grocery store or in any of the other Uts type products. So it looks just like a pretzel. So the front of the uh, package shows that it says cauliflower pretzels. So it also says made with cassava and cauliflower. Now cassava is a root vegetable and cauliflower is a regular uh, brassica vegetable. So it's good for prevention of cancer. So let's look at the back and see what's really inside. Now the first ingredient is cassava flour. That's pretty good. Second ingredient is cauliflower flour. So they ground, grinded up cauliflower, made it into a flour. And then we have non-GMO cornstarch. So I'm, I'm happy that it's non-GMO. Uh, that's a whole another conversation of why GMOs are bad. And then next we have non-GMO expeller press canola oil. Now I'm not a big fan of canola oil, so that's a thumbs down for me. And the next ingredient is cane syrup. So they have to add sugar, but most of the pretzel products you find also contain sugar. So again, we're choosing one product versus another and trying to make a better choice. Now the next ingredient is yeast and then salt. And then we have a vegetable blend of spinach, broccoli, carrots, tomatoes, beets, and shiitake mushrooms, all dehydrated into a powder. So there is a good amount of vegetables in here. In fact, the dietary fiber per serving is three grams, which isn't bad, which shows you that there is quite a bit of good vegetable quality that's in this product. Yes, it is still a pretzel, and yes, real food definitely trumps eating pretzels for your vegetable. However, I have a child who barely eats any vegetables, and instead of letting them see the front of this package, which shows that there's cauliflower and cassava in here, I emptied it out, put it in a Ziploc bag, and put it in front of his doorstep because I knew that he would fall for it. So certainly, he picked him up, and he started eating it, and this is how I know whether a product can be consumed by a child or not, even when it has vegetables in it. So for example, like I said, it looks just like a pretzel, so he thought it was a pretzel, but the first bite, he said, there's vegetables in here, mom, isn't there? So I didn't lie, yes, I admitted there were vegetables in there, but the funny thing is, he ate the entire bag. So pretzels are addicting, and apparently even those that have vegetables in there are still addicting. So there you have it, a better choice than just straight pretzels. You can sneak some vegetables into your child while they eat pretzels and feel good about at least some vegetables getting in their system. Not the best form, but still a vegetable. So there you go. Um, by the way, I found these at Whole Foods. I'm not sure if they're sold anywhere else, um, but if you have a product for me to review, please leave it in the comment section and hope you enjoyed today's product review. Thanks for watching.